Hello and welcome. In the last video I showed you a couple of programs uh, for the HP 97 and I mentioned that I was going to show you how to back up the cards. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a matter of loading the card into the memory and then uh, saving back to a blank card and I've got a spare blank card here. Two sided cards. We've got side one that direction if I feed it into the card reader and side two the side if I feed that side there into the card reader and you'll notice there that there's a little corner piece that's got a dotted line on there and that is the right protect so at the moment we are not right protected and if I snip that corner off there that right protects the card and you'll see that the pre-recorded cards come thankfully with the right protect enabled so that you can't change the contents of them and so if we had a card that you know you wanted to back up you literally just turn the calculator on make sure it's in the run mode here and uh, feed the card in so I'll do the first side this is a two-sided card when I say two-sided I don't mean one side two sides as I showed before, it's one side, two sides. So it's a two-ended card, I guess you could say. Or two sides uh, to the recording surface under there. So I'm going to start by backing up this side here. On this side, okay. So I'll just feed that in. And the program is now in memory. And then I can go ahead and write to this card by switching the calculator over to the program side there and you'll see if I single step through you'll see there is information in there and if you're wondering what these codes are for they actually relate to a key on the keyboard so that key there so the first instruction is two and one so that's uh, row two column one so row one row two column one with label and then one six is row one and column six one two three four five six which is a shift function and then one one a so if we have a close look on the calculator there its label is not capital A but a, a lowercase a there because we shifted A so that was, that's the first instruction there so if we take uh, this instruction here 2111 so it's 2 1 label 1 1 A okay so you can see the instructions there they are just immediate so that's a, the number two and memory number five negative six two means that it's on this section here so the positive numbers are in this section negative six two means one two three four five six one two that's a decimal point so that's how you translate these codes anyway I'll go I don't think I need to be back at the start but I'll put the machine back at this first instruction and if I put this card in with one facing in to the card reader it'll write that data that program that's in memory to side one of this card and that's done there so if I uh, head back to run or if I want to confirm that the card has written go back to program we clear the program clear program put it back to run and then try loading and then we can confirm just by coming across to program there and if I step through you can see there's data there okay so it's successfully written to the card there and so let's clear clear the program there and I want to load the second side from this card here like that 
Now these are individual programs on this card on either side. So I'll show you a double sided program in a second. If we just load that. Okay. And then switch across to the program mode and I'm putting the second side in there. Like that. And then if I clear the program and then switch to run, we can confirm that that has written. Yep, I would say that's successful. Okay, single step. Yep, data there. Okay, so that's a backup of that card there. It's good. All right, now if we use a double sided program, uh, let's try 3x3 three three matrix operations. Let's try that one. Okay. Yeah, so it's asking for the card. So part of the program is in memory. And now the other part will be loaded to complete the process there. Now to back that one up, and I'll just use my other card that I used for demonstrating before. To back that up, we start by feeding side one in. Go over to program mode, feed side one in, and that will get written. And you can see there it's prompting for the card again to write side two because the program is bigger than one side. There we go. That is loaded there. I'll just double check that card wrote. That's a good sign. Yep. Right. So that's all set to go. Now I'm not sure how to use this program, but there's definitely data there. Yep. So that is how you back up your magnetic cards. Pretty handy, no copy protection whatsoever. So yep, that's it, just a quick one. Thanks again for watching, catch you in the next one.